Hi everyone, this is your artist Rep Yvonne with the UV Skull Design. We're going to get started with some Wolf Black and a Filbert brush. Make sure you load that brush up generously so that you get some nice, even coverage. First step of the skull is the eye socket. Make sure you use your models or your own eye socket as reference. What I like to do is keep the eye socket underneath the eyebrow and then cut it through the arch to make it look a little bit angry. The more you cut it through the arch, the angrier it's going to look. Once you're happy with the first one, you move on to the next side. Same thing, just trace along your own eye socket area and fill it in nicely. The good thing about the Filbert brush is that it has a rounded tip so it can go easily around your eye. Make sure you shape it so that it looks even with the other side. Once you're happy with that, just even them out. Fill in whatever spots you have left. We're ready to move on to the nose. Same brush, same paint. What I like to do is just swipe it up in a flicking motion and then fill it out a little bit. Perfect. Next we grab a number six low cornell round brush and we're going to go ahead load it up with that same wolf black and we're going to separate the jaw bones the zygomatic bone and the mandible creating two oval shapes on the cheekbone area and underneath the cheekbone one slightly larger than the other one then to define the cheek we just flick upwards if you're happy with that, you do the same on the other side. Great. Next, I took a sponge just to smooth it all out and make sure that we have good coverage. And if there's any wet spots, it'll dry it up. Another number six low Cornell, and this time we're loading it up with some neon tag yellow. For the teeth, you're gonna go ahead and press and flick upward to create some nice looking teeth. As you get to the outside, make them slightly larger. Do the same thing on the bottom. You press and you flick downwards until you've gotten the desired shape. Same thing on the other side. For the next step, we're going to keep the same brush and the same paint. Load it up again. And we're going to go ahead and outline the areas we just painted. Now, this is going to give it a super cool glowing effect as if you have a string of LED lights around your eye socket and your jaw. It's going to look really cool in the black light. Really popular for glow parties. Boys especially love this type of design. And it's super quick because you don't have to lay down a base. Once you're done outlining the areas that you've darkened in with the black, then you move on to the other side. Same thing. Now we're grabbing a number three low Cornell round brush, loading it up with that same wolf black. And it's time to define those teeth. Now this step is completely optional, but it will look amazing with or without the black light. You can trace along the teeth you already placed first with the neon yellow. And then once you go in with that black, just make them pointy at the ends. It's going to look really awesome. All right, we're all set. Now, let's see if we glow. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to visit us at www.facepaintforumshop.com for all of your face painting needs.